So with Nvidia recently updating their gaming drivers for Fortnite and many other games to improve performance, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys how to set up the latest drivers for your Nvidia graphics card. Because as you guys should know already, it's really important that you have the latest and greatest driver on your graphics card so you can get the full potential out of it. But before we do get into the video guys, if this video does help you out then feel free to help me out back by dropping a like on the vid. And now let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, so there's actually three different ways you can install the latest Nvidia Nvidia drivers via the Windows update itself, via Nvidia directly, or via Nvidia Experience, which is a free to use program. For the very first method, that's the Windows update, you want to go over to your Windows desktop and right click on the start menu right here. Then you want to select where it says Device Manager. This should bring up the Device Manager right here. And in this sort of section, guys, you want to locate your graphics card, which will be under the Display Adapters. As you can see, that's my graphics card right there. That's the Nvidia GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. You want to simply right click on your graphics card and click update driver and then you want to click on search automatically for the latest drivers and guys as you can see here sometimes this doesn't work it'll tell you that it's got the best driver already installed but that is not the case so what we're going to do is go over to the second method which is via Nvidia directly. To get the latest drivers from Nvidia directly you want to head over to Google as you can see I'm on there right now and you want to type in Nvidia drivers download just like that guys when you want to press enter and then you want to click on this first link right here that says nvidia.co.uk or wherever in your country slash download it should be the official one make sure it's not like a scam one or anything like that guys it should look exactly like this and then once the screen does appear right here guys you want to simply look for your specific graphics card so now my graphics card is a geforce gtx 1080 ti so i'm going to select geforce and then i'm going to go under the product series and i believe it's the uh, 10 series as it's the gtx 1080 and then as you can see, oh, it's the first one right there. That is very convenient. I've got the GTX 1080 Ti right there, guys. And then this is very important as well. You want to make sure you select your specific operating system. I'm not on Windows 11 yet. I'm still on Windows 10. And as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and click on my specific one. That's Windows 10 64 bit. And as you can see, guys, I've got all these selected right here. I want to go ahead, press search, and this should search for the latest and greatest driver, which as you can see, was updated on the 20th of December, which again wasn't that long ago. See what I mean about the last method not always working? For you it might, but for me it clearly hasn't, but this one has worked great, which I'm going to go ahead guys and download it, and this will be the latest and greatest driver for my graphics card. And for the last method guys, this is via the GeForce Experience app or program, this is by far the easiest method. You yourself might have it already installed for things like Shadowplay um, or other sort of GeForce um, experience stuff, but as you can see guys, I've got it right Right here it's completely free to use all you want to do is open it up and then once it has opened up guys which might take a little while you want to click on the drivers option right there and then here it'll display the latest driver for you as you can see this one was released on the 20th of December which was literally nine days ago so it's absolutely brand new and all you have to do guys is click download and then once it has installed and actually updated you are all good to go you've got the latest and greatest driver which should give you the best FPS possible if it doesn't guys you can always downgrade and if you want a video on how to do that, let me know in the comment section below, but I'm sure you won't. Guys, if this video helped you out, feel free to drop a like on the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one.